I recently picked up the Nikon ZR and I've been filming all of my footage so far in H.265 mainly because of the file sizes and I finally decided that H.265 kind of wasn't quite cutting it and I wanted to see what the differences were between all of the different codecs. So after googling and looking at a ton of different YouTube videos and studying the codecs, I decided to just try them all out for myself because I couldn't find any video that answered my questions and did side by side comparisons well enough. So I just recorded pretty much every usable codec that I thought I would use from Red Raw, N Raw, HLG, H.265, ProRes, literally everything and I just tested it out, put it side by side, compared everything as well as I put in the file sizes of each video which we recorded for about 30 seconds. And so here's the test and we'll get into the results afterwards. All right, so we're gonna do a little test just to see how the camera works. Um, we're gonna record it for 30 seconds and we're currently recording in H.265 10 bit at 5.3K and we're gonna just test the codex and see which one looks the best and figure out what the file sizes are and which one I'm gonna end up using for the rest of the time. So this is H.265. All right, so we are now in 4K ProRes RAW, or not ProRes RAW, we are in 4K ProRes N-Log to give it one final test. I have no idea how to grade ProRes, so we're gonna have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, this is ProRes, 3.5 FPA aperture, um, 800 ISO still. All right, this is the final codec that we are testing because this is probably out of all of the ones. The last one I would consider using because HLG at least still has some coloring ability compared to standard, but this is now 5.3K in HLG. To compare the difference. Still F.3.5. Okay, we are now in the HLG H.265 mode, which is supposedly supposed to be sharper according to some people. This is the 4K version of HLG at f3.5, 180 degree shutter angle, 800 ISO. Give this one a good test and then we're gonna switch it to the 5.3K and see how that goes. Um, this is R3D in 6K. We're trying, I'm trying to keep everything as similar as possible, but I wanna keep the highlights good. And so we had to bring the F-stop up. I'm not using any filters right now cause I didn't want to have the filter potentially affect the lens, but we're at F4, the last H2.65 uh, clip was at f2.8 which means r3d in theory gets us more light but this is r3d all right this is now r3d in 4k same test Um, yeah, share suite is the same. R3D 4K seems to pick up a little bit less light. All right, this is now NRAW in the 4K setting at I believe high profile standard. So it's at the higher bit rate versus the standard profile. Uh, NRAW at 4K and this is the larger 4K file and then we're gonna go to the smaller 4K file after this which is the like three 9,000 file size, which is just a tad smaller, but and raw 4k 24. These are all being done at 24 FPS, by the way. All right. So this is now and raw in the smaller 4k, which is the 3000 one. And Nikon seems to think 
this is the or labels this as the DX and raw and then after this we're going to switch to and raw in the low codec or in the standard codec form to see if that shrinks the file sizes down a little bit all right this is now and raw in the smaller 4k at the standard picture video quality so I bumped it from high quality down to normal and we'll see if there's any difference. Still at 24 frames per second and raw f3.5 which is what we've been at for all of the end raw uh, videos. All of this looks really good. All right, I'm getting a little confused. I'm not gonna lie, but this right here is NRAW in 4K in full frame mode in the normal image quality as well as in N-Log mode. I just realized that there's an N-Log and an SDR mode, so I think all the other NRAWs are in SDR, but I'm not 100% positive. But this one is set to NRAW, N-Log, 4K, 24 FPS. All right, finally, this is NRAW 4K full frame in normal image quality with the thing set to SDR. So we'll see what the difference is. I'm not 100% positive what the difference between standard and NLOG in RAW is. I'm assuming it's the same as the others, but here's a comparison anyway.
So that concludes our test of the Nikon ZR. I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet, but basically I think going forward, my two codecs of choice is going to be the 4K and the 5.3K in H.265 HLG, as well as the NRAW in 4K in normal video quality mode because of the file sizes. I think those two are kind of a good middle ground, especially the NRAW. So I think those are gonna be the two main codecs for me as I do a lot of travel, a lot of on the go shooting, as well as some client work. So I still need it to be a good enough quality and I've been doing H.265 in N-Log so far and that has not quite been cutting it. It's just been a little too low of a quality. The blur is a bit too much for whatever reason. So moving forward, I think those two codecs and hopefully this video was helpful to you and like and subscribe if you want to see more.